Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And for 2023, we're taking the favorite project from each week and entering it into a tournament for the best Gato project for the year. So be sure to comment which number project was your favorite this week. And stay tuned to the end of the video to learn the winner of last week's vote. Let the countdown begin. Number eight. Our first indie game is inspired by The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening and utilizes a Game Boy art style. Backpack Zack is a short, top-down dungeon adventure game where you explore a castle littered with secrets and enemies. Solve puzzles as you battle your way through the dungeon to find and defeat the evil king who has cursed the lands. You can play Backpack Zack right now on itch.io. Number 7 Self-described as a 3D avoidance game, Chippy borrows from games like Just Beats and Shapes and Sound Dodger. Featuring power-ups, upgrades, and customization options, Chippy looks and plays really smooth. The transitions between stages is well worth the price of admission, which is free because it is. Oh, and the developer also made the source code completely available, so check it out. Number 6 Flippanoid is a first-time game made in Gato 3.5. Influenced by classic arcade breakout and Arkanoid games, the twist is that you actually have to twist. Rotate the paddles to expose different colors to match the ball. With 20 levels to challenge yourself, don't flip out if you can't make it all the way to the end. And if you have a game you'd like to have showcased, you can send it to me on the stayathomedev.com website in a comment below or follow me on Twitter and message. Number 5 Number five is another channel viewer submission. Colored Effects is a puzzle platformer game where you use different abilities to advance through levels. Each color grants a unique ability and you must switch between these colors and their effects to collect gems, defeat bosses, and solve puzzles. You can download a demo of Colored Effects right now on Steam. Number four. If you're on the Gato subreddit or frequent the Twitterverse, you may have seen number four and subconsciously labeled it the game with the fish. Well, that game is Ibis M, where you play as an Ibis, which is a bird. Your bird-based goal is to explore the world in search of purpose as you battle starvation by catching fish. And then there's these weird statues that you can actually give the fish to. It's Just check it out. Number three. Mecha DRPG harkens back to the early dungeon crawlers. And what jumped out to me was the design aesthetic and map movement. I don't know if anyone remembers the old Daggerfall game. It came before Morrowind, Oblivion, and the 20 different releases of Skyrim. This might spark some nostalgia. With some light Metroidvania elements, it's definitely a cool project to keep an eye on. Number 2 Pingo Adventure is really a feast for the eyes. With built-from-scratch assets, it's dripping with Mario and Nintendo design aesthetics. Explore the world with Pingo, solve puzzles, play minigames, and even customize your Pingo with costumes a la Super Mario Odyssey. With interesting physics elements, unlockables, and a camera mode, Pingo promises a fun and engaging playthrough when it's released later in 2023. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, which ended up in a tie between Little Ninja and Skies Above, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. Number one. It's finally here. If you've been paying attention, the number one spot should be no surprise. After countless alphas, betas, and release candidates, Gato 4.0 Stable has been released to the public. So what are you doing on YouTube? Download it, dig in, and start creating some awesome gaming experiences like the ones featured this week in Gato. Don't forget to vote for your favorite project this week in the comments. And I'll be back next week with another This Week in Gato.